It's Uncle Jimmy's pool room. It's Uncle Jimmy's pool room. Uncle Jimmy's poor and we're back. Dutchy, how are you, buddy? I've been away, but I'm back. I'm you back. You're absolutely kidding yourself. I am telling you, he's been what? away for like three weeks, and we're supposed to be doing Uncle Jimmy's pool room. You're supposed to be hanging out with your mate Dutch. Wait, would you, you choose Uncle Jimmy's pool room or Hawaii? What would you choose? Mate, I would choose Uncle Jimmy's pool room. You are fair to continue. Mate, we're, still, we're trying to put shows on for the sponsors, and you seriously, they're going to wonder where the hell our show's been for the last yes. three weeks. Well, Peter Worth, one of our major sponsors, just looking dapper in our new. Three Threads by Peter Worth. Thank you very much. Uh, good. Dutchy, some football on the weekend. It was fantastic, wasn't it? The there was some upset. What the about D's. the D's? Woo! Oh, 11 to 1, you could have got for the D's head to head. Oh my God. I could have got in on that, but I didn't because I can't. But anyway. And what about, what about Robos Boss Boss? You are actually doing some theatre. Am I, am I wrong? Yeah. Am I wrong? Yes, you, you are correct. I am. Mate, this is, this is going to be hilarious because he is actually, this is a whisper I've heard, and you can maybe confirm this with us. Are you playing Warwick Kappa in a theatre show oh, about yes. Ron Barassi? Yeah. I am. Not? I am. Uh, thank you very much, Dutchie, for uh, <laughs> pumping me up there. I am now a thespian, uh, amongst other things. Sorry? Uh, Where are you? A thespian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, doing a stage uh, show. It's called Barassi. It's coming out later in the year. Here's a bit of a uh, picture of it. Uh, it's going to be uh, sensational, Dutch. <laughs> I can't wait to see this because <laughs> what? I've always thought there was, there was some similarities between yourself and Warwick Capita. Yeah, oh, why? You know? How? Uh, well, we used to take hangers. You both used to take hangers. Give you that. You both got no IQ <laughs> uh, and no idea, <laughs> and you both can't act. And I, so I don't know why you're actually acting when you can't. What, what's the deal with that? Come on, talk us through it. Moving right along. I've had enough of that, <clears throat> Dutchie. Uh, you were lucky enough to catch up with uh, the great man who would be very happy right now, James Jimmy Magna. Yeah, oh, cool unit. Absolutely one of the coolest units I've ever met. Yep. And uh, got a new nickname for him. Yep. James Magnum P.I. He's That's that cool. He's like Magnum P.I. That's terrible. Anyway, here's that interview. Uh, Dutchie caught up with him not long ago. Jimmy Magna, in with the Dutch for the interview. Hey, welcome to Uncle Jimmy's pool room, mate. You must be absolutely on top of the world right now, am I right? Yeah, couldn't be happier, yep, yeah, yeah. definitely. And um, obviously, we won the best and fairest at Sandy, got drafted as a 24-year-old. Yeah, 24-year-old. And uh, you probably thought it was all going to be over, and that was the end of uh, your opportunity, maybe after this season. But you got there, and you're there now. So uh, how's it all shaping? Yeah, it's been really good, yeah. I never thought it, oh, I didn't really think it would ever happen, so it was pretty exciting when it all happened. Yeah, it's been really quick, like this time last year I was digging holes and now I'm playing AFL footy on a Friday night, so it's been really good. The it's been a pretty good transition as well, so it's been relatively good. Come from digging holes to kicking a ball around. Yeah, so when you've kicked, a goal with your first two kicks in AFL footy, that's, that's a fair effort. Yeah, and I don't usually kick goals either, so <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty big uh, surprise, yeah. It felt pretty surreal, yeah. Yeah, good on you, man. Now, you got married. Um, uh, when did you get married? A couple of years ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, over two years and ago. The, and yeah. the lovely... the lovely Danielle. Danielle, that's right. Danielle, lovely lady, very uh, gorgeous lady. Now, the question is, uh, would you still have got married if you known you were going to get drafted three years ago? <laughs> No, that's no, that's no, that's yeah, a silly definitely. Question, of course, that's a silly question, yeah. mate. There's, there's a Facebook page out there at the moment. I don't know if you started it yourself, <laughs> but uh, let's have a bit of a look at it here. This is just amazing stuff. Where is it over here? Okay, let's have a look. Um, we're gonna have to cut into that because I've lost the page. <laughs> no, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. We can cut into that. Beautiful. James Magna should work in retail because he is the clearance king. Did you start this? No, definitely not. I don't know who started that. That must be one of your, your good mates if it's You're not you. Up, yeah. Because this is funny, look. <laughs> the chess press has been renamed the Magna Press. <laughs> that, yeah, was, that was one of his uh, little uh, Facebook statuses. Yeah. Um, now here's another. Just cleaned out my trophy shelf and made room for the Zebs B and F. I'm the boss, mate. There's some great uh, stuff on here. Is that sure you sure that wasn't you? Nah, Sandy's full forward Michael Lowry made that page, so yeah, yeah. he winds me up a bit. Yeah. Is that one hundred percent he did that? Yeah he yeah. did, yeah. Well that's uh, pretty humorous I must say. Now if there was anyone, any person in the whole world, rock stars, music stars, actors, anyone in the whole world that you would have liked for them to give you your first game jumper, who would it be? 
Anyone in the world, yeah. absolutely uh, anybody. It's a bit of a tough one. Probably a toss up between probably David Beckham and LeBron James, I'd probably say. Yeah. Really? So you don't rate this bloke? No, Gaza? No, no, no. I rate him pretty <laughs> high. Yeah, yeah. You've just absolutely wiped him. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he was probably number one. The other two, yeah, second and third. So, yeah, yeah. definitely Gaza. Beautiful, mate. Now, um, so you're obviously uh, a clearance king, as it said there on your Facebook page. Um, you know, you, would, do you think you'll find yourself in the forward line or down back at any stage this year, or are you just going to stick around the midfield and carve it up? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do whatever I'm told to do, mm. pretty much. But, mm. uh, yeah, I'd say mainly midfield and mm. bits and pieces all over the place. So mm. I think I've been, I've been playing some roles for the team, mm. defensive roles, so it could sort of see me anywhere on the ground, yeah. And, uh, mate, you're a pretty cool unit, as we just saw at the start there, <laughs> mate. And um, Robbo's a little bit uh, little bit peeved that someone's come in in front of him at uh, the Melbourne Footy Club and making him look second rate at the moment. So uh, he's not too happy about that, I must say. But um, thanks for coming on, Un Uncle Jimmy's pool room, James. Jimmy, yeah. I really appreciate your time, mate. Uh, you might have eight more years or so plus left in the game. It's, uh, 24 is uh, still a reasonable age to... to <laughs> to get involved and mate I wish you all the best for the for the rest of the year and the rest of your career matey thanks for coming on thanks mate good on nice. you buddy cheers Jimmy I appreciate you coming on mate that was sensational I really do well done oh, that was right. awesome those questions are you serious with those questions what do you make mean? me look like a deal mate We'll make you look good mate I promise we'll make you look sensational no, you'll make me look like a clown mate no, no, I won't no, be no. coming on the show again no. all right are you serious Jimmy Boy Magna, what a man, what a cool dude. Hey, uh, well done, Dutchie. Nice little interview there. Yeah, thanks uh, there, Robbo. That was uh, pretty good, I must admit. Um, mate, I've been thinking. I've just been thinking. You? Know, it is you? Very, I've been thinking. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and uh -huh. it is very... It is very hard for us at the moment to be getting these AFL people on our show because, you know, with the Channel 7 contracts, yes. the Telstra contracts, Agreed. they're just not allowed to come on it's our hard. show anymore. It's hard, know? especially because they want so much money and we've got none. <laughs> well, what I've been thinking <laughs> is maybe we can do something like just bring some interviews upon these players and people and just see if we can get them on the show without them really even knowing they're actually on our <laughs> and show. And then bolt after it. Get yeah, out of there. something like that. I don't know. Just get them, get them oh, on. It's like, it's like the, not that movie the Bowfinger, you know, where they, Bowfinger, yeah, they did like a whole Bowfinger, movie with yeah. actors that didn't know they were actually in a movie. I don't know if you've seen it. That's uh, Eddie Murphy, yeah. Steve Martin, the Bowfinger interviews. We can call this Bowfinger. I reckon that, that <laughs> could be it. it. That could be it. I love it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, well. so basically, we could be incognito. We can spring the uh, interview upon the player, yep. and whether they know, they're see how long it lasts. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then off we go, and then we'll do oh, okay. do the Harry Holt. Well, we are actually down here in the sporting precinct, the uh, the hub of sporting stuff in Melbourne, uh, Amy Park. Let's see if we can find someone worthwhile interviewing. Yeah. Spring it on them yeah. and uh, this will be the very first uh, Bowfinger interview segment. Bang! <laughs> well, here we go. I've got my kit. Let's put it on. Here's the hat. And the sunnies. Incognito, the Dutch. Bowfinger interviews. Let's see if this thing actually works. Boys, boys, uh, well done on the weekend. How'd you think you went? Silly, one of the favourites for the Brownlow. Well done, welcome to the show. Really glad you could make it. No, you Dutch. <laughs> no. There you have it, the uh, Bowfinger interviews. That's a start. <laughs> it is a start, That's Robert. just a start, just okay? A, just can, a start. It can only grow and progress and get better, okay? As, can, un so. as can Uncle Jimmy's pool room. Uh, some football, let's let's talk about it, because on the weekend there was four teams that got themselves up and about. The Tigers, I know Tigers they've been in well. good form, but yeah. going well. Yeah. Demons, obviously my boys got themselves up. Brisbane had an exciting win. Uh, 
goal after nearly oh, after yeah, the, well, just yeah, before yeah, the yeah, siren yeah, just before and the Port Adelaide as well. So Port Adelaide, football yeah. can and throw up. And the pies. Up. Don't forget about the no, pies, Bravo, let's, because let's we're, forget about we're the going pies. at seven in a row, can believe it or not, with half a side out. Can you believe that? You played the Gold Coast. Showed no mercy on Gold Coast, though. That is the point. Whether we won by one point or 100 points, we showed no mercy. Karate Kid stuff. Yeah, the pressure was immense. We're fierce at the contest. Shut up. Okay, let's move. Let's move on because. I reckon the match of the round is Melbourne versus Collingwood this week. Uh, Certainly. There's other good games. Essendon and Sydney will yeah. be a good game, but we're going to talk about our mob, the D's, and Monday. You, and you guys could well be just a little bit complacent after <laughs> after last week. What? One win in 35. <laughs> I don't think we're complacent at all. And we do like the big stage. I'll give them that. We'll get over there at the MCG on Monday. Make sure you get down and check out that game. But I tell you what, well, there's got to be some sort of dare there, surely. If my mob wins, you've got to do something and vice versa. Maybe. Well, hang on. I've got something in mind. How about the loser has to sit in the opposition's cafe? So if, if I lose, I sit in the bench cafe, which is yep. at Melbourne Demons, yep. in my full Collingwood kit, yep. and vice versa. And you have to go to the Westpac, in yep. the Westpac cafe, yeah. with your kit on, boots, everything, the full kit, and you have to have lunch, half an hour lunch, and at the end of your lunch, you have to sing the song and walk out. How about that? Come on, demons is all I can so say. So on, the, on, on the Tuesday at 12 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, we got Tuesday it. We got it. 12 o'clock. We got it. Okay. If you want to okay. see it, come okay. down. Okay. Come and down and check it out. Check that see out. See if we get a that's crowd been, going. That's been Uncle Jimmy's forum for another week. Nice to be back with you, Dutch. It is. It's been great. It's been great. Not, not that nice. Thespian. <laughs> we'll see you next week on Uncle Jimmy's forum. <laughs>